This is a demonstration of the Forest Model 236 Heavy Vertical Blade Traveling Table Bandsaw. The machine has a powered variable speed traveling table. Uh, this particular machine has our optional workpiece positioning, work positioning fence with the uh, precision electronic digital readout. Today we're doing test cuts on graphite, basically carbon. This is a popular material for us now. We have many customers cutting this material used in EDM tooling, molds, lots of other specialty industrial applications. It's next best thing to metal, very hard, fairly dense, cuts pretty nicely. Our objective today is to get a good quality surface cut while cutting as fast as we can. As you can see, we've done a few test cuts already here. What we found is that we can't run the blade too much faster than about 0.07 inches per second without deteriorating the cut quality. Also, we find beyond that, we start to be horsepower limited. This machine has a two horsepower motor, um, and we start to drag the motor if we push any faster than that. So to work on larger blocks, we'd either have to have a larger horsepower motor, um, slower range table speed, or some combination thereof. I've got set up right now a block. It's a fractured piece of scrap that we're truing up for reuse. You know, stuff gets broken, but you still want to reuse it. So we have a broken edge. We've made a few cuts to clean it up. We're going to clean this up into a nice cube. Dust, please. I'll time this cut. So the work piece is about eight and a quarter inches long. We'll get our average speed, which I believe I have set at about 0 0.6. Don't worry, I won't make you, I will not make you watch us cut all six surfaces of the cube. This blade, by the way, is a carbide grit edge blade, gulleted, so it has a space to carry out the dust, half inch wide. Uh, to do this on a larger work piece, we'd probably want to go up to a three quarter or even a one inch wide grit edge blade, still a gulleted blade. We found that a tooth style blade gave too rough a surface finish. The grit edge blade um, gets through as it turns out every bit as fast and leaves a better quality cut surface for some of my customers that matters. The grid edge is a more expensive blade, but if it saves you an operation, for example, a secondary operation of grinding the surface smooth, a little bit more money for the blade up front versus a whole second operation on a second machine, economically a no-brainer. Breakthrough at 2 minutes 11.8 seconds. We'll see how the cut quality of it turned out. smooth. So you can see our cut off piece here, broken piece. My expertly calibrated fingertips would say that's about a 
32, maybe worst case 64 surface finish and dead flat.